why should you look at multifamily investing now? So we're going through a little bit of a term oil and especially we're talking about multifamily. So what's happening is uh, interest rates are higher than ever and on existing multifamily properties, that is putting a lot of pressure on cash flow, meaning that yes, the landlords and, and multifamily owners, apartment building owners are receiving the same amount of rents, but have to pay more for debt. So that's compressing the cash flows and then putting a lot of pressure. So you may have heard of news in the stories that, that some, some multifamily owners are not doing particularly well. This is a period in time that will change. So there's various ways of, of, of running multifamily buildings and the only metric uh, interest rates are not the only metric. So there are ways to also increase income in multifamily by adding value added services, et cetera. So therefore we kind of get ahead of, of the cash flow pressure uh, issue. But What's most exciting about multifamily right now is that builders are, yes, you're, we're getting some condo. The condo market is producing condos that are coming out on the market. However, builders find it extremely expensive because of interest rates to build right now. So they're holding off. So what we're, what we're actually going to see is right now, yes, condos from four or five years ago, uh, are coming online, people are picking them up, and then the housing housing shortage is an issue, but it's not such big of an issue. But what happens if condo owners, um, condo builders, developers, uh, if they stop building? And then that's what's happening right now. Um, condo builders are holding back and then waiting for cheaper debt so that they can make a profit. So, so starting in two years or so, what's going to be happening is less and less stock is going to be coming out in the market. And then the demand for housing is going to be even greater. So even if, even if the government slows down on, on immigration, which I don't believe they will because they showed their plan. And uh, last year to Canada, a million people came in. Um, and even if they, if they slosh that in half, there will still be a tremendous demand for housing. So right now, um, condo, condo uh, developers are holding off. And in two years time, uh, because it takes time to develop, uh, develop a building, a high rise building condos, there is going to be a huge shortage. So why, why are we even talking about this? So yes, multifamily is getting, you know, a little bit of bad rap because the cash flows are 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 compressing but the expectation is that interest rates will decrease a little bit so that situation will uh, improve however in 2 years multifamily owners are going to be excitingly booming this is the prediction because there'll be even less stock in the market uh less less housing and that means uh, rents may uh, increase and then values of properties, existing properties will increase. So even when interest rates decrease in a, let's say in a year, two years, and then uh, developers start, start that machine and start developing, it will take time. So we're in a unique window where right now investing in multifamily, there is tremendous amount of opportunity. And then we're seeing that ahead, there is uh, there is definite huge opportunity. Uh, I personally think this uh, this turbulent market is uh, is a bit of a gift, and we're the best opportunities that we've had in a decade are appearing now. And then the best um, the best time to own uh, multifamily will be approximately two years from now. So. Don't delay if you're ever thinking about getting into the market. Uh, now is the time, whether you do that yourself or you're investing passively. We're uh, taking on accredited investors um, uh, right now on exciting projects that are coming up. All right. Have a wonderful day and take care.